Just proud of the group. I think uh, we all could agree that the way that we came out was one of our best starts all year. Um, and just to, to, to sit back and watch them build momentum, give each other feedback and generate offense, uh, pretty proud. Some questions? Uh, Callie had a great game today. Stayed composed the whole game, really turned in ways and great opportunities, especially at the end of the third. What did you think of her play today? Yeah, I think you nailed it with Kelly. Timely saves. Uh, I think she built confidence as the game went on and when you need those saves the most. And uh, it was really cool just to see her uh, in her element and build that confidence today. Can you talk about the penalty kill, especially with you know the five-minute major and then also the two back-to-back -back, uh, regular? Yeah, uh, our, our PK just takes it as an opportunity every time. And I think it's that mentality that allows us to be consistent that you know we want to get shorthanded goals we want to go on offense we want to play aggressive and we hope to generate momentum from every pk and the girls did a really good job today um just going back to callie getting her start in the bean pot second game back just how does that speak to the confidence your group has in her coming back from injury it definitely speaks to the confidence uh, that we have in Callie. And, you know, I think not a lot of people can see the, the comeback to her um, and how much effort she's put in behind the scenes. But I think that was a huge testament as well, knowing that she's left no stone unturned. She's done everything that she can within her ability to be ready for this group. And I think that there too also gives a lot of confidence. You guys have talked a lot about, you know, building a foundation the first half of the semester. Just how much does this mean to your group to have, you know, a tangible first time in four years going to the championship to kind of be a result of your hard work in first semester? Yeah, I think you nailed it. Just to prove that we're we're a good hockey team and to be able to get to experience the benefits of that, being able to perform in high pressure moments uh, and execute when we need to execute, I think it just goes even further building that confidence that we're a good team. and. Uh, I think we feel good that we have a great foundation to still go through adversity and get better and um, and you know get the outcomes that we want down the stretch. Okay, great. Uh, Milwaukee Twins have been an offensive force the last couple of weeks, but how important has their defensive play, play been, especially in overtime? I think that's been a really cool part. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, these guys have played such a great 200 foot game all year and now just to see um, you know, amazing skill come through and generate offense creatively and transition and then and on the power play, on the PK, in all different ways. And I think that that's what makes them a threat. You know, I think Lily and Louisa make the people around them better, wh whoever they're playing with. Um, it's, it's been really cool to see, but 200 foot game impactful in every zone of the ice. And I think when you do that, the offense will come. Back, Lily, it almost seems like you and your sister always know where each other are on the ice. What's it like playing on the line? Um, I think we just created like a good chemistry just from playing like so long with each other and making each other better at practice. So that's where our chemistry comes from. Here in the greens. For Lily too, in a back and forth game like that, just how do you guys stay consistent and stay focused on the bench when in the first period, you know, it was, it was really tightly contested? Um, I would say we just focus on our habits and the small things and then Hopefully we get a goal out of, out of it. Okay. For Lily, um, you guys knew that you were going to play one game at TD Garden, but knowing it's the championship game, how much more special is it? Yeah, a lot more special, I would say. Um, I mean, it's special in general just to play there, but obviously it's um, the finals, so that makes it even more special, especially as a woman. Um, being able to play at an NHL rink is pretty awesome. What was, when you saw the goal go in, in in the shootout, what was that initial feeling that you had? Um, can you describe? <laughs> uh, of, of course it was a relief, so I was really happy that I could score that goal for our te for this team, and I was just hoping that Caddy would have the next um, shootout. And for you, just as a transfer first year at BU, how cool is it for you to be such a big part and your sister of getting this team to a championship at TD Garden? Yeah, it's pretty special, I would say. And I mean, since transferring, we have been really looking forward to playing in the bean pot. So this is a really special moment for us. We have time for two more questions. Back here. Coach, regardless of the opponent, what identity will your team want to play at this year's mission team? I think more of what you saw today, you know, just knowing that um, our our habits create transition offense for us and we're a threat off the rush, we're a threat off of our forecheck. 
and then knowing how to wear teams down, how to maintain possession, how to create opportunities um, as a unit of five on the ice. And then when it's your time to set the next line up for success, then you set the next line up for success. And I think when we do that, we allow all of our skill and diversity of skill to come through um, when we start to wear teams down and create momentum. And last question. Just for you personally, Coach, you know, first year running the program, just what does it mean to you? You've played in bean pots to, to bring the program back to, to the championship. Oh, it's a, it's an honor, and I, I think it's it's something that you reflect on more and more, um, you know, as it goes by. But uh, I just am so excited for this group. I, I'm excited about how we're representing the future of our program and putting in the hard work and getting to be rewarded from all of that. And excited to see and um, make history and get to play at TD Garden and represent Boston University. All right, Coach Lily, thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, thank you everybody.